In this video, we're going to show you how to automatically set up a QPCR plate using the PCR wizard in your digital dispenser software. We've already set up the fluids list. If I double click here, I can show you that primers are set to be 100 micromolar concentration, and the samples have different concentrations of RNA or DNA, depending on what was determined previously. You don't have to pre-normalize the concentrations of your sample. Now we can click on PCR wizard, and the first thing to point out here is that the additional volume is set to zero automatically. That's because all of the assay components are going to be dispensed by the digital dispenser, as opposed to a standard assay where you have pre-added reagents. We're going to select which fluids we're going to use for each type of material, one master mix, two primers, and the rest of the fluid samples. We're going to do everything in triplicate. We're going to set the master mix at 3.5 microliters or 3,500 nanoliters. We're going to use primers at one micromolar from their 100 micromolar stock. We're going to have the samples be present at 1,000 anagrams per mil in the final qPCR assay. Next, we're going to set up a standard curve for this plate. We're going to use both of our primers against a single sample. We're going to keep the primer at one micromolar. We're going to do our standard curve with four levels using 2,000 nanograms per mil or two micrograms per mil in a tenfold dilution where we set a one to n with n equals 10. And again, we're going to do the standard curve in triplicate. Now, the software has laid out the plate for us. We're going to put the standard curves at the top so primer 1 and its triplicates are in the first row, and primer 2 in the second row. This area is primer 1 against the four samples, and this area is primer 2 against the four samples. That's set up properly, and now it's laying out the plate for us, showing the various amounts of fluid in each well. In this case, we're going to normalize these wells. We're going to normalize it to a 5 microliter total assay volume, every well 5,000 nanoliters. And the reason we're doing that is because the samples were different concentrations to begin with, and so we're normalizing the concentration of RNA or DNA in each well. And you didn't have to do that by hand separately, as you would have had to do normally. Now we're finished, and we set up the plate. It's normalized. It has all the fluids laid out on it. And if we want to show how much normalization is in each well, we can click the Show Normalization down here, and the normalization's shown in gray. Now you've set up a full plate using four samples against two primers with standard curves for a qPCR example.